Okay, so I just started the rinsing process and we've already found another piece of surface gold. I never get sick of seeing this. <laughs> another piece of surface gold just staring at me right in the face. There is no Wi-Fi out here, but I promise you, you will find a better connection. Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly, your host here. Today we are exploring my brand new claim. Now I noticed there's a lot of bedrock on this claim so I think the best thing to do for our first day is to really just do some crevicing. Now by first day I just mean first day bringing you guys along. I was here just the other day working on this crevice here but I could not remove this. But now I actually have a tool that will actually move this big piece of bedrock. So first thing we're gonna do is just finish this crevice that I got started the other day and then when we're done this and we're satisfied with it, we're gonna move on and see what else we can find. This is heavy. Okay, so I got this little chunk out. Now for the rest. All right, just removed all the overburdened bedrock in the center of this crevice. Now it's just a matter of scooping it all out, see what kind of gold we get, and that will determine whether we stick to this line or we move on. So right as I turned off the camera, I noticed our first piece of exposed candy. That's a good sign that there's gold around. Now, I obviously know that there's gold here. I mean, this is why I'm coming back to the spot, but uh, it's, it's just best to clean out a spot when you start working it. So here we are, let's continue. I just covered up that piece I saw, I forgot about that one. First little pan, micro dots that you probably can't see. On to the next. All right, second pan and we're looking much better. We have one little chunky piece that you could probably see and a whole bunch of little micros. However, there are two little wiry looking pieces in there, which I do like. So let's stay on this trend and hopefully continue to find more candy. We are slowly making progress. I still have a little bit more to move right here. And once that's done, I'll get this all wet. Hopefully find more exposed cracks that I can actually break open and get to the real bottom of the bedrock. And then, uh, Hopefully we'll be able to use my little sucker tool over there and suck out everything. Yes, yes, look at all that. Breaking bedrock. Gold will hide in breaking bedrock. Oh. Looking good. So I just did another pan and of course, I wasn't filming it, but <laughs> check this out. Uh oh, what do we have here? Yes, look at that. <laughs> we have a nice piece of gold. I would consider that a picker and a bunch of little bits of gold and we're not even at the very bottom yet. So next thing to do is obviously just finish cleaning out all this dirtiness and then uh, we're gonna fill it full of water, suck it out and then we'll see what we get. Thank you. 
So there is a lot more material than I thought there would be. So what I'm going to do is pan this down till there's only a little bit of material left. And then I'm gonna go back, get more dirt, and then add to that pan. And just keep repeating that process until we have one pan left. And then hopefully we'll do one reveal of maybe a lot of gold, who knows. <laughs> Next pan. Oh, jeez. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and as you can see there's still more material to pan out and I've done about five pans and I couldn't resist it. I did a little peek and check that out. Two pieces of visible gold. So we know we're doing the right thing. Now it's just a matter of continuing this process. I think I have one, maybe two more pans left. Then I'll soak it, rinse it, suck it out and then we'll do hopefully an even better reveal. Okay, so I just started the rinsing process and we've already found another piece of surface gold. I never get sick of seeing this. <laughs> another piece of surface gold just staring at me right in the face. Again, it, you, when you see this, you just never get sick of it. That is really cool. <laughs> okay, let's pick it up with some tweezers because it's a lot more fun to do it this way. I have my other camera set up. Get out. Nice. <laughs> Hopefully my other camera's focusing on this. Oop. That is a nice little flat piece of gold and a stick with it. Sweet! So before I forget, I'm gonna put that piece of gold in the snuffle and uh, I'm just gonna quickly rinse a little more <clears throat> just to see if we're not missing anything else. I love doing that. I don't see anything. All right, we'll get to scraping and then sucking. Now, before I continue this crevice, I just wanted to quickly take this opportunity to announce something. Some of you out there have been asking me if there's a way to further support Pioneer Poly. And there wasn't for the longest time. I just don't like to accept anything, to be honest. But now there is. I set up a temporary line of Pioneer Poly merchandise, which includes the logo that I usually wear, but I didn't <laughs> didn't wear it today. And then some other random stuff that you may find funny. So now you can further support the channel, and plus you can get something out of it for you or even a friend. Okay, because I'm impatient, I'm just gonna pan this out right now, which is about seven or eight uh, pans of concentrated material. And then uh, we'll use a sucker tool to finish it all. Oh, a stick. ready yeah I can see yeah okay okay I'm gonna turn you around okay 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 let's see here yeah. it's hard to do this with one hand <laughs> we do have gold showing up oh I'm so bad at this yay oh, okay I gotta do a better job one sec all right, just getting rid of a little bit more material to make this one hand pan man guy do a better job. Oh my gosh, there we go. <laughs> it's all over the place, but there you have it. Some candy. That's not tea bag. 
seven or eight pans. Cool. Now let's suck out the rest. Here's a better shot for you guys. I thought I'd try a little bit harder. We have a little piece of wire in there too. So that's sweet. Okay, time to suck her out. So I cleaned out this crevice the best I could with my sucker tube. Now I can't really get the very, 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 very bottom of this crevice because uh, the sucker tube just doesn't allow it, doesn't go deep enough. So I used my snuffer bottle to kind of suck up the areas that I missed. Filled up the bucket a little bit better and uh, now it's time to cross our fingers and see what we get. Okay. There's not a lot of material in there, but Hopefully, there'll be a lot of gold. Okay, let's see ya. Any nuggets trapped in this classifier? No, no nuggets. All right, we're getting close. A little closer. No gold yet. Some tiny bits. Okay. All right. Holy cow. Okay, yay! <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab the camera. Uh, so this is kind of awkward because I'm trying to hold a pan over my mic so it doesn't get wet. But there is clearly gold there. That is really cool. <laughs> I love seeing these little bits that you can kind of pick up. Well, I can pick that one up. That's cool. So I'm noticing all the fine gold is disappearing the deeper I go, which is a good sign because that means you're going to the bigger gold. I was trying to be educational, but the deeper you go, the more closer you are to the bedrock, the better gold you will find. <laughs> so with that kind of color, it's going to be really hard just to leave this. So for more reassurance, I dumped out my snuffer bottle and yeah. <laughs> with that kind of color, I'm not just going to walk away from this. I'm now obligated to dig as deep as I can because who knows, you you could find a nugget just crammed in the very bottom. I am noticing a little bit more cracks in here too, so I'm just going to stick to this and hopefully find more. All right, so here we go again. I broke up more bedrock. That's all the material that I was able to remove, sucked up a bit more, and uh, yeah, we're going to go pan this. But my buddy Jimbo over there just found his first picker. So I just congratulated him on social media. Wonderful. All right, let's pan this out. I'm gonna be very quick with this. I hate that. I'm gonna be very quick with this because it's starting to rain again and I just wanna put my camera away. A lot of bedrock. A lot of sharp, bloodthirsty bedrock. Well, there's a little bit of gold, but... Got a couple specks in there. Here, I'll do a better cleanup for you guys. Okay, so not as good as I thought it would be, but that's where the flower gold was. <laughs> okay. So we're calling it a day today. Um, we've been here for about eight hours now and it's starting to rain pretty hard. So let's hurry up, go home, check out the gold and do a little dance. 
So that wasn't a bad day at all. I was honestly hoping to find a big nugget in there, but you can't get them every time. But maybe coming up when we scuba dive that waterfall from my last video, we will find the mother load. Anyways, this is a loot that we found today. Yes, no complaints here. I left the city, got in touch with nature, and returned with some jewelry. Now here's a photo of Jimbo's take for the day. He is quite happy and I'm happy he left me with an unfinished crevice to work next time. So let's just weigh the gold and talk about how much time I wasted. I'd like to start off by weighing that one biggest piece that I have in there. 0.18 grams. Alright, that's not too bad. Now for the rest of this stuff. Come on, 5 ounces. 0.72 grams. So, less than 50 bucks. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like, dislike, comment, or even subscribing. Social media is open too for those of you interested to see anything else extra. And if you wish to take your support a little bit further, I have limited edition merchandise now available. I love you all so much. I thank you for watching. Until the next one, I will see you later.